Good morning, everybody. Um, it is uh, very uh, nice to know that Jaisingpur College, Jaisingpur, is organizing uh, a national multilingual conference on problems and opportunities of agriculture in and after COVID-19. And I am uh, at the outset um, thankful to the organizers, they have invited me to give a uh, keynote address on the topic Threats and Opportunities in Agriculture and Horticulture During and After Lockdown. When uh, there was a news about uh, there is a likelihood of spread of a very unknown uh, a disease called COVID-19 is likely to spread in pandemic form in India. Government responded in uh, immediate uh, indu inducing lockdown in most of the areas. There was a uh, element of surprise in common man. In the beginning, there was always uh, some amount of uh, disturbance in a day-to-day -day life uh, in most of the uh, walks of life. The same way, the same thing must have reflected uh, into agriculture field. Um, in reality, the lockdown was introduced in the month of March. And March is not that way very uh, active agriculture period. So, uh, in terms of uh, agriculture, we did not have much of disturbance, but uh, uh, many of the horticulture crops uh, like mango, grapes, the harvesting season was on and people were, st uh, were supposed to harvest and uh, get the returns and very that time all of a sudden. Uh, the lockdown uh, introduced certain kind of difficulties. There was no, uh, I mean the very first lockdown effect was the stoppage of uh, or complete restriction of transport facilities. So um, uh, because of the transport, uh, neither human being were able to move, the similarly the agriculture produce were not able to move from one place to other place. After some time, even though the transport facility were made available, all of a sudden we realized that the uh, marketing committees, their auctions, they were uh, not functional. Even though to some extent they were made functional, uh, the movement of uh, material was uh, not very smooth. Uh, in the sense, that even the civilians were not allowed to have a free movement and uh, many people were not able to go into the markets and uh, things like that. So uh, buyers were not available so the whatever the produce with all those difficulties reached to the market uh, were not having enough demand obviously the equation of demand and supply was changed and the many places the cost of agriculture goods, horticulture goods were dropped drastically and people had suffered. Into the farmers area due to the social distancing and restrictions on the movement of people, availability of labor drastically reduced. So the labors were not available and uh, many of the agriculture activities were disturbed because of lack of uh, availability of labor. Uh, apart from agriculture, the agriculture supported um, many places in rural areas activities like tourism, could be ecotourism or uh, maybe agrotourism. Now those activities were completely stopped and uh, the owners of this activity had uh, disturbance in their economy 
at the same time it directly reflected with the uh, people who were dependent on those uh, ecotourism or agrotourism so the entire chain had suffered due to the lack of movement of human beings even the wildlife uh, had courage to come to the civilians in uh, many areas rural areas now the wildlife started creating nuisance in agriculture earlier we had commonly heard about only the damages by monkeys or similar animals but now in konkan region in several areas elephants or bisons uh, wild boars are making real nuisance to agriculture lands because uh, the lack of movement of human beings around into the uh, border areas i mean areas bordering forest areas so all this thing happens uh, happened due to lockdown many of the problems uh, lockdown had but everything was not negative in some of the areas uh, particularly in konkan region uh, many positive things happened one of the thing to give an example is a trade of mangoes the when the mangoes were not uh, easily traded by the regular traders people found out alternate ways the technologies that e marketing e booking of requirement of a food material and similar thing uh, came up many people came forward in in urban areas the commodities like mango directly from producers could reach to the consumers and the e trading business cropped up many good things happened in the process first thing the producer got a higher money because their product directly went without any middleman to the uh, consumers mango particularly the alfonso mango has a geographical indication now this geographical indication is there meant for actually giving an advantage of a particular crop in a particular area in terms of market value but it was not so easy the mangoes particularly alfonso coming from the uh, different uh, districts adjoining districts in karnataka maybe western maharashtra they were also coming in the name of hapus or uh, alfonso into uh, market and the original hapus was not getting its real value but now when the e trading when the product started going from a producer to the consumer the real alfonso reached to the consumers and consumer accepted it with a much um, confidence and they could uh, get higher price for the same product there are examples where the farmers were getting about 3 to 4 lakh rupees from their produce in a year have uh, got uh, the um, total uh, turnover up to 8 to 10 lakh rupees and uh, well we may call it as a benefit of uh, lockdown effect many such uh, benefits people have harvested in many areas due to lockdown uh one common thing is that that mm, uh, the people could use the mm, e trading uh e marketing and a uh, consumer could get uh, the quality product right from producer to their doorstep of course there are certain uh, areas uh, people had disadvantage i mean in konkan region particular cashew is one of the such example in a cashew trading uh, seeds are purchased by the processors for uh, processing and bringing out a good quality nuts to the consumer in uh, harvesting season many traders from all over the country or yeah, different uh, states come to konkan region to buy cashew nuts unfortunately due to the lack of movement and restriction of movement of people from other states other districts very few buyers would reached konkan region 
and that's why most of the buying was restricted to uh, representatives of the processors or a traders who are locally available simultaneously they knew they said cashew nut is a export oriented crop and export oriented crop uh, should have clear clarity of how the material is going to be transported to destination countries when the international movement was restricted the trade itself was restricted so all of a sudden even the local buyers could not give very high prices to cashew uh, nuts the cashew nuts which were available for uh, 150 rupees a kg last year could not fetch even 60 70 rupees a kg this year and uh, the situation was short term during the lockdown period but the people who could not hold their stocks for want of immediate returns cash in their hands had to sell their products at the low rates as 70 80 rupees while uh, the situation will has now changed that those they could hold their stocks for a longer period are likely to get a higher prices like last year uh, for the same product so uh, several such uh, positive or negative effects uh, affected agriculture and horticulture uh, in maharashtra but now the situation is gradually changing the fear of covid 19 itself is drastically reduced but uh, one thing which has happened in most of the rural areas in many of the rural areas rural folks used to move towards cities in search of jobs a better earning uh, and a better life uh, life but during lockdown period many of uh, such kind of migrants had to suffer they lost uh, their jobs because many of the industries got closed down so they were jobless markets movements uh, and many such uh, activities in the cities were totally stand still so a common man who was uh, de- dependent on day to day earnings daily wages could not earn their money uh, in the cities over a period of time their stay in the city was non bearable so many of uh, such uh, people who were in the cities decided to go back to their rural areas and uh, towards the last phase of uh, lockdown a large number of people returned to their native places so is was the case in konkan region also we found l- uh, thousands of people returning to their native villages they too had a initial problem in the sense they were migrating from the high risk uh, area of the disease towards the uh, r- rural area where the risk was very low and the restrictions or maybe awareness of the covid 19 was much stronger in the rural folks uh, than the cities so when they reached um, uh, people from the cities reached uh, rural areas they had restrictions restrictions of entry into their villages but uh, local administration coordinated with uh, various activities like quarantine uh, home quarantine situations and so on after that quarantine period was over the even the population in villages are now comforted now situation is definitely going to be in favor of agriculture in support of agriculture because a large number of people who were not available in this rural area are available and they are looking for avenues for their earning their um, uh, day to day earning so could be a uh, good amount of uh, manual labor will be available in rural area which is in favor of agriculture many of these people own their land or even though a small piece of land 
which was probably was not cultivated for a very long period of time. Now the owner has come back and he is looking for every opportunity for cultivating his land. We had lots of problem in the past. 50 to 60 percent of uh, area where the paddy can be cultivated, could be cultivated, were kept fallow. They were never cultivated. Now people are uh, coming back so they will look forward that uh, they will grow um, uh, the such crops into their own lands. It was also, um, uh, situation was uh, very uh, difficult in the sense uh, even though people for short duration could come to their native places, they did agriculture not in commercial way. They were doing agriculture for their own um, consumption like paddy or similar crops which are grown in the area, they could uh, grow casually uh, without looking into profit. So now when they come, they now looking forward to agriculture for probably commercial agriculture. Agriculture uh, uh, produce will be uh, developed, produced for making enough earning. So the, now uh, we are expecting that this population will go into commercial agriculture in this area. Now there is a big responsibility to the institutions like agriculture universities and so on that this uh, rural people who have returned from urban areas uh, should be considered as a potential agriculturist and they should be uh, trained or uh, educated for developing their skills in agriculture, in modern agriculture. And those activities now uh, will be uh, required by um, the extension people or agriculture universities uh, people uh, have to go into rural area for the educating these people. Many of these uh, people are maybe totally out of agriculture uh, activities. Now they are coming to agriculture activities so they need to be trained in the field of agriculture. Many of the activities, uh, opportunities are there. I am thinking that there are a lot of artisan uh, people uh, like potteries, people making uh, various kind of pottery, various kind of uh, articles made from bamboo and other things. Now they can uh, come out and develop their skills and produce such articles which will in turn uh, support even the agro-tourism, eco-tourism activities. There could be a lot of uh, scope in developing small-scale cottage industries. One of such activity to give an example is a mushroom cultivation. In a rural area, uh, I mean, when you talk about mushroom cultivation, we probably think only button mushroom. But the mushrooms like pleuritus, milky mushroom, paddy straw mushroom, this mushroom can be cultivated at relatively higher temperature or uh, uh, relatively less control conditions in a rural area. And they can be cultivated very easily utilizing locally available agriculture waste like maybe mm, different kind of straws, grasses or uh, waste from the, coming from the various crops. Now um, uh, only things probably required is we may uh, require uh, to bring out these people together in the form of groups, uh, maybe uh, unemployed youth or maybe uh, bachat gut of women and give them a training how to grow it, how to do, what are the minimum infrastructure they have to develop uh, into their villages and grow the uh, culture. Uh, our university in Konkan Krishi Vidya Pit Dapoli has already started uh, programs on such kind of cottage industries. Many small areas uh, can be converted into uh, nurseries. Nursery business itself can be a very profitable business. There are a lot of uh, uh, ornamental plants people are buying these days in urban areas. 
we could uh, grow ornamental uh, crop nurseries in a small area maybe uh, in many areas even now uh, after uh, covid there is a nisarga cyclone which has uh, 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 destroyed many of the established orchards and now there could be a very high level uh, requirement of planting material of trees like mango uh, coconut areca nut and so on so if uh, somebody is able to guide uh, um, uh, these people to develop local nurseries into the uh, rural areas it could be a very good profitable business within the uh, villages and it it can flourish into it uh, a good uh, source of income the similarly uh, animal husbandry and related activities also can be uh, developed into rural areas uh, in uh, post covid situation particularly the universities have uh, developed the concept of developing water bodies on the uh, relatively higher elevations in the uh, area uh, village areas because this area gives Uh, I mean, normally gets about three uh, thousand to five thousand mm rainfall, and if only this rainwater is trapped or collected into these water tanks, uh, big water tanks lined with plastic coating, water up to the depth of three to four meter can be collected and stored for a longer period. Now, this water, I mean, as a common uh, situation in Konkan region. we have such a high rainfall but we don't have enough water for uh, irrigation in even in the uh, rabi crop forget about summer crops but if you develop such kind of a tanks in a area they not only provide uh, sufficient water for rabi crop as well as even summer crop but these waters can be used for inland fisheries uh, uh, people uh, in the fisheries sector are making good profit the our uh, university fishery college has developed a very good model of growing fishes like tilapia pangasius maybe cut raw rohu katla in this water tanks and it's not only the uh, earning money out of uh, this fishes but when the fish is cultivated or grown into the water tank it leaves a water which is much more Uh, useful and nutritious for the irrigation and the crop value also will uh, increase it is said that one acre tank can sustain a one family throughout the year by only the uh, fish cultivation and it's said so there is a great opportunity now if the people are around available if they can uh, convert uh, their lands into a tank uh, there is tremendous scope for developing inland fisheries we are talking about integrated poultry we have been uh, estimating that in a small place like dapoli there is a requirement of 2000 birds every day a uh, poultry birds in every, every day so there is a tremendous scope for producing poultry birds in the area but at this moment 100% poultry birds come from outside a uh, different uh, areas here people are not growing uh, poultry birds it is mainly because of the fact that in much of their profit is taken away by um, things like uh, buying chick purchasing uh, um, uh, feed and so on so in a integrated poultry concept we should have a group of uh, poultry growers where they develop a small hatchery for themselves even they will produce a mixer kind of a thing to develop their own feed as per the required formula so instead of buying uh, chicks or a feed from outside if they collect it from their own group at a reasonably low price their cost of production is likely to be substantially less and their profitability will be higher even most of the poultry is still today based on uh, i mean dependent on 
uh, maize for its protein source. If you look at uh, rural sector in Maharashtra, uh, in particularly coastal region, lot of waste fish is available in the coastal region, which is not consumed by human being otherwise. They can be uh, purchased, dried and kept it ready as a substitute for protein source in the poultry feed. And if that is done, uh, integrated poultry business has a tremendous scope in, um, in such areas around. And uh, that could be uh, um, uh, all to altogether change the economy of the people who will come in this kind of uh, industry. So uh, people are now talking about processing of fruits. Uh, in Konkan region, we have lots of fruits other than mango, jackfruit, karonda, kokum, uh, and so on. So many of these fruits are not really exploited for processing. If proper guidance and proper uh, collective efforts are made and the, uh, the manpower available due to migration is best utilized, Processing can be a very good uh, area where people can develop small scale cottage industry in our area and flourish. I mean, uh, there could be similar uh, requirement of floriculture. Uh, we have been seeing that uh, the cultivation of rose is getting better even without polyhouses. We can grow uh, in uh, Chrysanthemum very nicely in uh, Konkan region during winters. So many of such floriculture uh, units uh, people can think of uh, growing into the field uh, uh, in this region. So if you really think, uh, if I am not wrong, the post-COVID situations opportunities are unlimited. It's only a matter of bringing in a proper idea and exploiting the same idea with a proper organization or a proper management. And the organizations like agriculture universities, agriculture department and so on should be supporting these ideas uh, very proper way that providing planting material, training and know-how for a common man and even uh, coordinating uh, the uh, marketing of this produ uh, produce through uh, groups of producers. If this really happens uh, in a post-COVID situation, the rural areas agriculture will flourish uh, more than what uh, we have imagined in the past and there is a um, uh, tremendous uh, opportunities available for development of agriculture. So uh, at this outset, uh, I would like to uh, wish that many of such topics will be discussed in your conference on the web line for uh, the in forthcoming period and many will be uh, benefited uh, to develop, uh, develop different opportunities into a success. So I wish all the best to the conference and wish that many farmers or related uh, stakeholders will be highly benefited. Thank you.